morning folks friday morning another one just turned up ready for mot for next week so we'll uh, just do a quick walk around now we get moved up there anyway sorry for the late one yesterday youtube on a go slow again seems that about once a week <clears throat> it just like takes forever so it's half past two this morning that finally went up so apologies nothing i can do about it uh so yeah let's crack on get on with this been and picked up a load of seals for uh short shaft seals uh drop box seals drop box seals bearings for short shaft trunnion oil seals a few more to come some of them do a bit of a job to get hold of but box full of bits there well after that little um live thing the first we're starting to wash this off you can see how dirty that was compared to that bit i've done so we blasted off that side got a bit cleaner I might do Apprentice's car, but I might let her do it. But she's got to check the tyre pressures because apparently they look a bit low, but yeah, she's on uh, hopefully blowing up tyres around. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the moon's out. <laughs> so yeah, I'll... Uh... That's an annoying person the ground. Oh, uh, stop moaning. <laughs> right, know herself now. Right, so that's all washed off. She pushed three of the jacks in. Said, so need a brake now. I said, tell you what, you go around and push the button. Because every time you push that button, you need a wee. It's like a magic button. Are you going to do the tinkle dance now? Okay. Need, need a wee, need a wee, need a wee. So we'll get it up and wash this off underneath and check around. But you dancing yet? <laughs> well, it's Friday. It's got to be better than last Friday for certain. <laughs> anyway, for those who are asking, how's the JCB, Rog? All right at the moment, thank you. It's yeah, working. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no trouble so right. far. Yeah, no, but no. It's to come, I spent. Yeah, go on. You, you be able to watch yourself. This won't go up until Tuesday, this one, though. Okay. But okay. so far, so good. Sorry, I've done my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's looking pretty good. It's got a busted clamp here. It's got a new one there. And one wiper blade. Get a bit of grease in the kingpins. Other than that, everything's clean. And looking okay it makes change but it's a mean and nasty it's a man so i just cleaned up the brake chamber because they're a little bit rusty and then we spotted something else there on the downpipe just touched it and it's got the tin worm in it so uh yeah something else to deal with but not to worry keep looking at it somebody's busy with wire brush as so you found the holes well done so with a little bit of heat and a bit of persuasion we managed to stretch the spring a bit and put a new end on it and we got it fitted back in there apprentice is over there busy the light in between making noise getting the old lights off the wings for the 135 so i'm going to see if i can get this fitted up on the there we have a wiper blade that works on the front Brilliant. We've got some nice, shiny, brand new of these things. I can't remember what they're called, but I remember getting them a while ago. Took a bit of a job to get the right size to go in the cover. So we've got one in. This is where the cover drops down for the filter inside the cab. So we've got another three to get put in there. And get this bit put in the roof of the cab. Just there we go. Fitted in. Four brand new proper fasteners to go in there. That's that bit in. It's coming together, slowly but surely. Morning, Saturday morning. Obviously, you ain't going to see this till Tuesday because we're doing the live tonight, which you'll see later. Anyway, having an easier morning, fiddling around with my own stuff, just for a change, because I was down here all last Sunday, so I'll bugger it. I'm having some me time. So, having a play with my own truck. Got a problem with the indicators. Yeah, obviously, you see, flashy, 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 flashy. Uh, the back one down here is flashy, flashy, as you can see. There. Flashy, flashy. But the problem we've got is the repeater on the dashboard ain't working. Take it off, put it on. It's like a bulb's out. But oh, it did flash once there. But if I go and put an extra bulb in the system, which I've already wired one up here temporarily, I'll pop that bulb in there flashy flashy 
flashy flashy and the front one's doing their thing we've now on the dashboard got a flashy flashy so you know i've been through all the bulbs cleaned all the terminals up fine so i'm gonna have to fit an extra light on the back oh well if it works it works and uh, yeah the other side do a flashy doesn't flash like a bulb's out so we'll go and look at the other side so we stripped the light down we got the thing out we cleaned all the terminals up on this one uh, we'll, we'll put it back together and see if it's this that's the problem if not we'll do the same as i'm going to do the other side put two new lights extras on the back make it work so we've just done the same on this side so we've got indicator there and the other one i just wired in just gonna see what's happening on the dashboard for that side i don't know we can't we can overcome it but it's not ideal hello it's working now so we'll just put two extra flashy bulbs in there it's almost like there's a bulb out but there isn't or not enough wattage in the bulb but they are they're all 21 watt so i don't know bad earth i don't know but if bad earth then the rest of the lights wouldn't work. Never mind. We can overcome it. Uh, one marker light replaced. This one was getting very, very dim. So I rooted right in the stores. I found one that I ripped off a truck years ago. So that's on there. All working. Not Just down to pick apprentice up for the live later, which you'll see Tuesday, because you've already seen it. Uh, he, uh, Mr. JCB is going into um, uh, gardening business. Apparently this one was a runner. But lacking compression. <laughs> Bet you can't wonder why. In there, mm, piston broke. <laughs> Just as well, I've got another engine for it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these were free. Free. Fair enough. Man wanted to so get you, rid of them. He wanted to go somewhere where they're going to get looked after. So you're going to have to move that thing over there to get around that lot, aren't you? <laughs> she yeah. She's already well, said it. We're here. Having a couple of beers just to get lubricated up pre cured A. And uh, Apprentice is here having a couple of beers as well, getting ready. So she's actually putting working out to use some makeup. <laughs> I should have brought the grease gun back with an oily rag. Would that be more. Um... That's more my style. <laughs> You've actually brushed your hair today, it makes a change. <laughs> We've already had some booze from Graham in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you missed a bit. I'm, I'm trying to work. Is this, I'm, is, I'm reading the instructions. Is this wall paint or is it you know, ready ready for... You know? I'm not quite sure what this is. <laughs> yeah, she's on the corona. <laughs> so, yeah, get another one of those into her. She'll be you know, uh, full of it shortly. But then you won't see this till Tuesday because we're not doing one tonight. But you will, yeah. you'll get the idea. It's all ass about face here. <laughs> Are you going to put some uh, eyeliner on as well? Well, I might try, but I mean, it's probably about 10 years old, so it might be dried up. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> well, it's two minutes to seven. We've both got glasses on so we can read the screen. We're sitting here comfortably. <laughs> yeah. We're getting nervous. And we got Lanky there over there, ready to do the um to provide us with the, the suitable glasses of water, if you believe that. So uh, she's gonna have shits and giggles at us two. <laughs> so we're there, we're, we're nearly ready. Sunday morning, chickens. No, you're not coming in. Go on, out you go. It's cold, you can go outside. Go on, off you go. Go on, out, out. Go on, go and scratch out in the garden. Off you go. Morning, folks. It's Monday morning. Didn't do a lot yesterday. I thought, bugger it. So, first victims turned up the day. Got a new mirror to do with some matting inside. So, uh, um, yeah, been sat down paperwork and booking parcels on to go. Uh, we've still got other bits to sort out. So, uh, yeah, we've got the new mirror for that. So, we'll go and get some tools and start pulling it apart. As you can see, it's a bit busted so it's a whole new mirror arm uh, we got the inside one off and these these clips are a little bit easier to get to on these two cables so yeah i'll pop the cover off on the outside 
two bolts there and there and it should come off cables out cables in new one on well this is a good start we've got the old one off uh, the new one of aco come from them that plug there looks a bit different to that plug there so i think we have to chop it off and wire it up so we might chop this lead off here and then chop that one off there and put some connectors in place because we ain't got time we don't know until you take it apart if it's right but it's supposed to be right from the dealer but there we go there we go all done and working indicator sorted and i can see myself not a pretty sight for a monday morning well, we've got the mirror finished, a bit more paperwork done now. We've got to replace this bit of matting where the horse has chewed it up. So I didn't see that arrived the other week. So we'll hopefully just in case of screws off, get it out, glue a new bit back on, screws back in. So hopefully that won't take too long because the customer wants it back for tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, half three quarters of an hour, we should have that one wrapped up. I don't console, uh, con oh, con condone solvent abuse, but... That glue's good in a yeah, confined space. There we go. We've got the new mat on the wall and I thought I could see stars. Oh yeah, I can see stars. <laughs> yeah, new bit glued on the wall. <laughs> We've got to trim it down to height because it's a little bit taller than the previous one. So yeah, we get the trim put on that. And job done. Are you, oh you're, yeah, it's not, dear. Right, let's get this finished. Let me just finish it off now, a nice bead of uh, polyurethane sealer. Oh, way across. Nice and steady. Stop any further wet getting down inside. Over the years when I built, oh, built horse boxes, the amount of tubes of this stuff we used to get through Unbelievable. But this stuff, you get it on your hands, unless you get it off with some panel wipes straight away, it's stuck on there for about three days. And then it'll eventually come off. We're in the bead. All the way up to the end. Jobs are good. Uh, new pipe down pipe has arrived. Probably just got that clamp off. But the bolts on that end, you need to have a very long tool to get to it. That's like three extensions and a deep socket just to reach there. But we've got one out. So two more to go, all the way up there. Hopefully they'll come undone. But it's a bit of an arse to get a spanner on the other side of the other two. Well, we've got the three bolts out, but somebody's. Um, yeah, it's been painted with a long thing and now she's got all the debris fall down the front. But so well caught, at least we didn't spill the debris on the floor. <laughs> Where did you catch it? <laughs> well, we'll just check, make sure it's the right, it looks about right. But that one took some tugging to get out the hole. But it's out. So now we can shove it in the hole and hopefully bolt it back up. At least it won't be as a rusty a job as the last one because you've got you yeah, caught it all. Just, just put a bit of where it's slipping. Right. We got the new one. Let's see if it slips in. It's going in. Oh, look at that. It fell in there. Perfect. So all we got to do is hopefully that end lines up with where it's supposed to go. Up there. Which isn't far off. There's a spacer to go in first. Where is the spacer? Oh, it's down there. Where have you put it? It's down there. It's hung up on the floor. So that's got to sit in there like that. Then locate up there, but I think we're we need to come forward a bit. Not a lot. Right. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm looking about that should fit about there somewhere. Right. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, that'll do. There we go. It's all in there. Job done. Brackets on, tightened up. So yeah, uh, we've just been over blowing the tires up on that one over there for the customer. So uh, yeah, apprentice has now had to depart to do a school visit with their little boy. So uh, yeah, I'm Billy no mates for the afternoon, but there we go, another job done. We didn't have some giggles doing that, but there we go. Makes the J job go quicker. Hey, folks, it's Tuesday morning, <laughs> video tonight. Uh, yeah, spent time doing paperwork and boxing up parts and booking stuff to send off to Denmark and stuff to go to Northern Ireland. It just takes forever to do that. So yeah, we got, well, we had one go yesterday and uh, yeah, one 
go in today and when that's paid go in when it's paid for there are two boxes there we've got pulley and shaft in there and other bits and pieces and filters and things there we've got another one here going today off to denmark then we've got another pile of stuff here ready for hopefully going to switzerland i think it is pulley shaft bushes bearing seals so yeah it just takes time to sort all this stuff out but there we go what are you doing that was, a, that, that was a delivery from Maggie yesterday. You, you kind of stuck. I'm trying <laughs> to you, deliver it to do, her. Do you want a shove? <laughs> oh. Oh, no, you're stuck. Oh. <laughs> the box is a bit big for my short arms. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's making a maintenance out of a mole in that job. I thought I'd try a different technique. Yeah, well, obviously, something's too big for the doorway. The box is a bit heavy. There's only foam in there. Yeah. Where have you got short arms? Well, Maggie did say she was going to come around and pick it up herself. It might not be nice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, uh, she's actually doing some work, whereas I've done nothing this morning other than sorting parts and paperwork. So, yeah, on the free diesel tank, having a bit of a drain out and clean up. So, keeping her busy. Anyway, I have made a start on doing something, finally. We got the, uh, well, we've managed to move the gearbox that was here to over there out of the way. Found a bracket for that. I thought, well, let's get this apart. So we've got the locking tabs undone. We're gonna get the bolts off, get the flywheel off, and see if we can get the shaft out of there. We have got the, uh, the sleeve and the collar off the other side. But yeah, a few little bits. Hopefully clutch plate will be back tomorrow. That's been off for refurb. And um, wait on news for the cover plate. So yeah, a bit of progress, but I don't know where the morning's gone. So uh, yeah, as you recall, the splines on that were pretty well knackered. Well, that come out all right. <coughs> so, yeah, they've, um, they've had it. So yeah, we've got, well, we've got one left in stock up there. But that's got to go somewhere, but we're having more made up, so it's, it's a juggling act with parts at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that spigot bearing should be sat in, that should be sat further in, but this has been sat for a couple of years. Well, I had a message from somebody this morning about taking these gearboxes apart. They couldn't get this shaft out. So I thought I'll just do this one now, get these gears out, because as I said before, we've got to get this one down here in place. The apprentice is up there making noise. What are you doing? Since you're the only one that's done some work today. All right, getting the rest of the brackets off and the cables. Well, get the... Yeah, I'm sure you can work hard on it and give it a good pounding and beating with a hammer. I've got it moving a little yeah, bit. You're still suffering with that man flu, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah, never mind. At least you're in a good mood, despite that. <laughs> right, so let's go back to this. Too many jobs on the go here. I don't know which one to do next. But anyway, to get this lot out, also we're taking the reduction off the bottom there, off the back. Got the PTO gear off. So now you have to take the circlip off down there. And then, hopefully... This shaft just pulls out. Unlike one I had a few years ago where the sleeve was seized on there, I had to cut the gearbox to pieces, but thankfully I had a spare casing. So uh, yeah, we'll get that off and see what happens. Uh, that's off. Now this just pulls out. Look at that. See, that's not seized on there, so that's good. So we pull this out, take all the gears out. Then we can get down to the bottom one. Oh, we finally extracted this gear. And We'll tuck it in there, shall we? As you can see, he's pretty well. Um, that's how it But we got it out. I'll chuck the torch in as well while we're at it. But we have, in a packet under there, got a new one. So, at least that's out. And somebody's still cussing and making a noise over there, aren't you? But yeah, you went, well, you went in. Yeah. You got your, you got your small big tool in there and uh, yeah. giving it a rattle around. Back to this. Well, other than the idler gear, that's everything out. Apart from all the little bits down in the bottom there. Yeah, all the bits out. 
So we'll uh, work our way through that and check it and give this a good clean out. And uh, yeah, get rid of all the debris in there. Well, I'm pleased to announce off of here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight teeth missing. And we have found all of them, all eight. So nothing's gone astray other than they should be on that. But never mind, a bit of dental work. <coughs> A few root canals, something like that, you think? But yeah, everything else seems intact at the moment. But yeah, glad we found all of those bits. Righto, folks, I'm done for the day. Busy morning. Anyway, new subscribers, thank you. Welcome. Hope you enjoy this rubbish. We try to have a laugh and a giggle. Sorry this video was a bit disjointed, but yeah, it was a few days because we did the live in the middle. So if you've seen the live on Saturday, this might make sense of what you see now but uh, yeah drop us a comment love to hear from you uh we'll get back to you um yeah we got a part sent off to uh flying fergie man they got dispatched this afternoon load of bits so there might be a video when they arrive with him uh some bits gone to denmark today and hopefully some bits going to switzerland i think once payments come through so yeah it's been a busy morning getting nowhere fast um but yeah, at least I've got that gearbox in bits. But I did have another chap uh, WhatsApping me this morning from Germany or somewhere with a similar issue. <laughs> Couldn't get it apart. Um, yeah, it's not looking good because I've been there, done that, and yeah, I had to cut one apart to get it apart. But there we go. Another story from years ago. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. Much appreciated. And we'll see you uh, in a few days' time. So until then... Layers.